What just happened? You lied to me. <laughs> what did I lie to you about? <laughs> you said Rurok hadn't delivered. <laughs> I was supposed to surprise you. I covered it up with a yellow thing. No. It was windy today. It probably blew off. This is supposed oh. to be a big surprise. You're an idiot. You want to open it now? Yeah, okay. Studio set up. That's how we do it, boys. That's around the back of your neck. Mm -hmm. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, boys. I've got it all set up. We're, we're both uh, we're both masked up here. All right, so this is <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. It was supposed to be a big surprise and I stuffed it up because I didn't hide it well enough. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I hope you enjoy your gift. Whatever could it be? So I'll go you something a little bit extra along with the helmet. Let's check it out. This one first? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. It's a Rurok hoodie. So I got you this because you're always stealing my hoodies. <laughs> yeah, I am. It's a I'm always bit, cold. I got it in a bigger size as well, so I might be able to slip into it every now and then, but why don't you chuck that on because it's pretty cold. This is the good old Engine Hawk hat with the uh, yellow logo, Engine Hawk logo, the eagle head with the exhaust pipes. All right. All right, you good? Damn, that's so comfy. Is it? Yeah. Is it warm? Yeah. Give us a 12. Takes the breeze off. You look like a gangster. Can you chuck the hood on over the uh, <laughs> gang? gang. <laughs> yeah, there you oh, go. So good. Are you excited about the helmet or what? Yeah. I haven't had a new helmet in like four years. Why don't you show us your old helmet before we get started? So I've been using this one for four plus years, commuting every day. And I'm a clumsy person, so there's a few scratches and things. And the Rurok is my new go to helmet at the end of this video we'll grab the scales and we'll weigh this helmet compared to the rock all right let's just get rid of that for now all right let's get into the unboxing that's what everyone's here for all right let's do it boom <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the Rurok Atlas liquid carbon. Little yep. stickers. Oh, there's more than one visor in here. It sure is. Got them to get you something so a little light. special. Why is it so light? They're made out of uh, T300 aerospace grade carbon fiber. And uh, okay, wait, flip the helmet over. This is what they want to see. So what you're <laughs> okay. going to do is you're going to release the bag from around the bottom of the helmet. And what the guys want to see is you just pull it straight from the top. Straight from the top? Yeah, yeah but obviously look at the helmet because we want to see your reaction to this thing. Wait, get rid of the box. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> actually nervous. Okay, go for it. Oh, that's look shiny. at that. That's shiny as. Oh my God. That's so cool. Is it gonna fit my head though? I have a tiny head. That's the very first thing we're gonna do. So can you just lift it up and show everyone the inside of the helmet? When you guys get these helmets, do not cut the tags off just yet. What you wanna do is try it on first. If it's the wrong size, then you could always send this back to Rurok and get a replacement, but it does say on this tag here, once labels have been removed, this helmet is no longer viable for return. Don't remove it yet. Let's try it on before we do anything. Then we'll have a look at the rest of the helmet. It's so pretty. It is pretty, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Is it too tight? Nah, it's a good kind of tight. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, Are you, do your cheeks feel like they're squished in? Yeah. All right, I'm going to check the fit in a second. I'm going to grab the front of her helmet and I'm going to pull it down and just make sure her forehead is gripping inside the helmet and it's not sliding around too much. This is an extra small. My girlfriend's got a tiny head. You usually find it hard to find. I lift this up? Nah. So when I was looking for the helmet I currently have, I ended up going to at least four different stores in Melbourne just trying to find one helmet that would fit. I didn't have much of a range for me to choose from because your head's so small yeah it's hard so, to find the right size and we measured your head a couple of weeks ago in, and you didn't know why i was measuring your head yeah. and what, what was the measurement i think it was 55 just spin around for a sec show me the back of the rock it is uh extra small 54 centimeters you think it's a nice fit yeah you wouldn't want to go a size up no all right let me just quickly check the fit i'm just going to pop the visor open just stand there yeah okay it's gripping your forehead it probably actually fits better than the other one. Maybe the cheek pads of that one have just worn out over time. Yeah, so the cheek so the so the cheek pads will wear in over time and the helmet will contour and form to your head and wear in a little bit. But this is the liquid carbon. You can see the carbon weave all over the helmet. We've got these vents on the side here that are Lamborghini inspired. Really? Yeah. Lamborghini Aventador inspired. Why don't you grab that visor that's in the box? There's two. So the Rurox ship with a clear visor and then we've got the dark smoke visor. I actually oh. got you something a little special. This one? Yeah, open it up, have a look. I can't tell what color it is really. Yeah. 
Yeah. Me. Take I'll, this one yeah, off. Yeah, I'll get you to take the visor off. Do you so, just do this? Yeah, so they twist anti-clockwise. Maybe I just can't do this with my nails. Is it tight? Yeah, it's tight. Just put your hand on the helmet because I've only got one hand. Oh, jeez, that is tight. Okay. Yeah, what is it? Too tight for you? No, it's not too tight for me. I'm not a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and this one is uh, anti-clockwise. That one wasn't too bad. All right, so just pull the visor out from each side. Ooh. Oh my god, live on <laughs> live on camera. <laughs> this is how clumsy I am. Okay, <laughs> grab the, your new visor. All right, stick it on each side. Wait, wait stick it on this side first because I've got light on this side. There you go. That was easier. All right, spin it around so I can see it in the light. That's easier if the visor is closed. There you go. Can't see where the notches are. Clockwise. Before you do anything, can you just, I just want to see if you can undo it now, now that we've worked it, worked it a little bit, or is it still really tight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it out. All right, chuck it back in. Cool. So you can do that? Yeah, I can Strong do that. Girl. <laughs> Strong girl. Strong girl. Can I take this off now? Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's so pretty. What color is that? Is that like a purpley pink? Let's get some light onto it. I mean, it looks, it just looks black in this light. Just move it around a bit. And now, now it looks gold. Now mm. it looks really gold. But at the top here, there you go. it's I've, like I've got it now. now it's purple. Tilt it down a bit. Now it's like purpley pink. Now it's gold again. <laughs> I don't know what color this is. I, I think it's purpley pink. So I asked them to send the pink iridescent visor and I think it looks friggin' sick. I thought it'd be really girly, but maybe it glows different in the daytime. I mean, they don't really have any girly helmets, do they? No, they've got the La, Cal La Calvera. Cal Calvera. Good pronunciation. It's pronunciation. like the Cinco de Madness, but the girl version. Oh yeah. I'm not a fan of like really girly helmets. That's why you wanted a black helmet. Yeah. I thought the liquid carbon would be mad. Let's have a look at this thing. So there it is. That's the liquid carbon Rurok Atlas 3.0 with the pink iridescent visor. I can see your reflection. That's all right. I'm, I'm all covered up. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yep. I've never done one of these up before. Do you just... Oh, whoa, that's game changing. <laughs> I can what see, do you think? Uh, I think I can see your face too much. All right, I've just turned the light just sideways a little bit. Yeah, that's heaps better. All right, give us a, give us a bit of a twirl. So, show us what it looks like from the side, just side profile. That's mad. That looks mean as. It looks sick. It looks so good. Shows from the back. Yeah, these helmets look so good. So I just went and got the scales and we're going to weigh these helmets and see what the difference is. I'll get you to put that on top of the cup. Just try and balance it. What is it? 1523. Chuck the rock up there. 1.448. So it is lighter. Yeah, it's a bit lighter. It feels like a lot more than that when you hold them. Rurok feels so much lighter. So what do you know about the features of the 3.0 so far? I mean, I don't know a lot, but I can see things instantly. So I can see all these vents up here all the way down and at the back also, which will be awesome in the hot summer, like Australian yeah. summers. And there's also vents at the front here. You can actually change that vent up and down, open and close, yep. it looks like. There's different notches so that you can have it as open as you want and it doesn't close on you when you're in the middle of riding but you want it half open. First position which is cracked for like summer riding, get a whole ton of airflow through the helmet. There's a little cutout here and what that's designed to do is to let air flow through here. The air comes through the visor, cleans the visor of fog and then it lets the air escape from the back here and then out of the back of the visor. All right, what else do you know about the helmet? The shockwave. This is like magnetic. You can get into it. And so it has space in there to put the shockwave in that goes with this helmet. So everything's neat and tidy. And if you don't want to use it, it's hidden away. Nice and neat. And then this game changer. The Fidlock. It's so good. When I put it on and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where it is. And then it just clicks into place automatically. You don't need to know where it is. It's crazy. It really is a game changer. It takes two seconds. Yeah, but... it's sick. It's so good. Whenever I get to the shops, I just rip my helmet off like so quickly and so easily. It feels so sturdy. Like it's not going to break on you. It feels like good quality metal. It's not plastic. It's not just going to let break yeah. apart it's aluminium oh is it yeah oh that's really lightweight and durable isn't it yeah it feels good 
It feels really good. Rurok actually held a motorcycle up with that Fidlock. I think it was 180 kilos. So I've got faith in it. I love it. I think it's strong. It works. Obviously, it's been tested. It passes all the safety scrutineering that these helmets go through. So these are DOT and ECE certified. Mm. What else is there? What um, don't I know about? The Lino has been updated on the 3.0 compared to the 2.0. So oh, it's, it's a so lot more... Soft. Yeah, it is soft. It's a lot more silky and, and smooth compared to the 2.0. When you threw this helmet on your head, how did it feel when it was sliding on? It was really good, actually. Yep. I didn't realize it was so soft, but it is kind of like... Yeah, that's it. It's silky. I mean, it was tight getting it over my head to begin with because yep. this is so small, but yep. like that's good for when it's around my neck. And then it was on. It just feels like a glove. It just fits everywhere perfectly. Do you want to let yeah. everyone know what you ride? Doesn't everyone know already? No, there might be some new people here on the channel. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Cribs! This is my 2014 MT-09. It has 40 or 50,000 Ks on it now. I'm a commuter every day riding my bike to and from work. I've been a rider for 10 years and never owned a car before. Any final thoughts on the Rurok Atlas Liquid Carbon 3.0? Thank you. Thank you, Adrian, and thank you, Rurok, for this amazing helmet, and I can't wait to give it a go. You're welcome. I'm glad you've got a Rurok. I've got three Ruroks. I wouldn't let her get a helmet that I wasn't 100% confident in, and yeah, I think these things are great. So, sick helmet, light, built right. They look awesome. Thank you for watching Adrian Nickelodeon here in Sydney, Australia. Please like and subscribe this video, and stay tuned for more. Damn. You actually did a better job than I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. All right. Thanks, babe. No worries. Thank you.